Hey, what's up, Kohai? Welcome back to my gaming channel and welcome back to another SMC videos. Basically, today uh, I would, didn't release a update videos because I was busy yesterday. Uh, Savage Cream, if you're watching this, I'm sorry about your birthday stream. Uh, first of all, uh, today we're going to be talking about the tech update as well as the skin uh, mecha customization. I do not want to cover the tumbling and the jumping because uh, Utah already covered it. He make a difference showing the before and after the update. So I'm going to leave the link down in the description below or on top of here, somewhere around here, if you want to check out his videos. Hey, it's just a gaming channel. Alright, currently we are in the game and these features are only available on the mobile Asia server. Not even the PC has it, so I have to show you guys on the mobile, right? So first of all, let's talk about the mecha customization first. So pick any mecha you want, and the customization option should be right at here. So if you tap it, and you get to choose a couple of skins, looks like you're trying to smash it all into just your regular pilot. Oh god, your regular pilot stuff, and then uh, you can also add stickers, move it around, adjust it around, increase its size. And of course, these are only for showcase. Apparently, over there they show that I have zero stickers, right? So in order to get these stickers, you have to go to the tier, miscellaneous, and you either buy this one for a B or C grade stickers, or you want an A or B grade stickers from the premium using a real crystal. As, I think as they will be probably added in the future gacha. I'm not sure about that. And before I forgot again, if you go to customize and you can actually tilt your mecha's color basically i don't like it because you're just playing with the contrast all right you're just playing with the contrast nothing really special about it and if you want to change that color it seems you have to put some crystals in so it's not really that much of a customization unless like you get this mech means that you get that color and you can swap in between each color would have been really cool now the next thing is the big thing that we're going to talk about here is that the attack if you look at the down tap over there on the third uh on the below third, third column is actually the uh, i want to show Audra instead it's actually the tag all right so before we get down to here uh we, let's go down to the tag list first so over here you have the all panel you have the attack tag panel you have the defense you have the tactical all right so attack are red defense are green and tactical are blue now don't worry about it uh each each tag can be leveled up to level 5 or 6 if I'm not mistaken And at Nettis is gonna give us all each tag for 6 You see, all of us have 6 Alright So, now every mag, right? Every mag, literally every mag Has a head, right arm, left arm, body, thruster, leg It's basically the same, alright? Head and body, you actually use defense tag And thrust, for thruster and leg, you are actually using the tactical tag and then for right arm and left arm, you are using the attack tag, alright? So to make it simple, uh, there's a lot of kinds of tag. I'll probably make another video talking about this tag. So basically, each of these are given different kind of stats. And according to Intel, according to the community, each of these stats can actually go up to 7%, which is gonna be a very big difference. And according to my friend Utah over here, uh, try not to... Try not to play around like putting different. If you want to go big, if you want to put tag, you might as well stack them, like having six or eight or three of them so that you can really tell the difference of it. So over here you have this graph that shows uh, basically how good the stats is. Uh, probably useless. Just focus on what you personally need, all right? I'll probably make a list, uh, another video talking about all this tag and what their stat does. So in order to level up this tag, you can just tap them and then click upgrade. And then it's gonna go like uh, level 5 or whatever. And total it requires this 300 thing over here. Stated red, alright? So over here you have the attack chip, the defense chip, as well as the tactical chip, alright? So in order to get this chip, there are a few ways. First of all, you can use your alpha coin, which you can farm through commissions. Clan missions, your daily missions and stuff like that Or even some sort of battle, battle pass and stuff like that Or you can actually throw in crystals to actually get more of this alpha coin In my opinion, is it pay to win? No, it's pay to be fast So yeah, new players are gonna have a hard time grinding There's so much for, for them to focus like getting a mag and getting this And then getting pilots There's so many things for new people to do 
Uh, another thing to get alpha points is basically leveling up different pilots, alright? So the next thing is, uh, the alpha coin one actually gives more chips And these chips are actually the random, it's not guaranteed It may be subject to change, alright? And then this, oh here, the gear You can actually get them by doing daily quests, you get silver gear too And then doing more, we'll get you another 4 here And then uh, there's another 5 here, and then that's it That's basically it So make sure to do all your missions, all your commissions, all your clan missions If you really want to get more alpha coins Again, all of these are randoms, and this one over here, the premium one gives more than the basic one, right? So anytime you, you buy this, you open it, it's gonna be random, alright? This is why I think it's a pay to be fast, and if you have a really bad luck, you're gonna be stuck on mastering all these modules. And one of the best thing is that uh, if you equip all these chips or all this tech over here, right? It really doesn't affect the other mech, so you can add, still add some of them in, so... It's very, I really appreciate this kind of logic, like they don't like expect us to farm again or once that mech use it, the other mech couldn't use it. So I really appreciate this detail, SMC you did it really well, uh, uh, it's uh, okay. So basically it, that's, that's it and if you tap at the last panel over here, they actually show you a recommended on what kind of tech does this mech require. Alright, so I don't like, hate this update. There's a lot of diversity you can actually play with And I really appreciate it, it The only thing that I don't like is that uh, The obtaining chips are random And we have to level them up uh, There's a bit of a fun in grinding there So There's a lot of ways to start playing mag now A lot of people are hating it, a lot of people like leaving for Genshin But no, this update is actually not bad, it's decent it's just that it's paid to be fast, it's not paid to win, alright? Anyways guys, this is all I want to cover. Technically, I will make another video explaining about all this tech. And maybe we'll start having a video discussion regarding how to build that mech tech and stuff like that, alright? Okay guys, I'm MP, Master Patrick Control, and I appreciate you so much for watching this video. If you find this helpful and you want to see me talk about all this tech, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any of my SMC content. Anyways guys, peace out. Hey, it's just a gaming channel.